Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in FIFA Mobile in 2023. You can do a lot with your phone depending on what phone that you're using and also all the settings inside of the game. So we're going to start with a Galaxy phone. I recommend to install the game plugin. So the first one that I really like to use is the game booster as you can see over there you just select your game and after that you have a couple of presets that you can choose me i choose max fps i just want to have the most fps if you want better quality visual you can do that also you can uh, use the auto mode and if you want you can apply it to all your games if this is kind of like the mode that you want to apply to all your game another pr um, plugin i recommend it's performance z because you will see your frame rate you will see your cpu gpu usage and very important your temperature you don't want to throttle with your phone because you will start lagging and st uh, losing fps so super important to use that when you did that now on your game as you can see you have like cool overlay over here that you're seeing your amount of fps your cpu gpu usage the temperature of your phone and the percentage of your RAM usage also. So pretty cool, you know where your bottleneck if you, uh, your phone is less powerful. So that's pretty cool to have. After that, we're gonna go to settings in graphic option. First of all, don't really care about the graphic over there. You will change it over here. Resolution, I recommend to go with I. You will see that if you're playing standard, the game looks very blurry uh, and I don't like the way it feels. So I recommend to go with I. If you're very limited with your phone, go with standard because you will need that if you want your 60. After that, for frame rate, I recommend to use 60. You want 60 FPS on those kind of game. Uh, when you want to try hard, you, you need smooth gameplay. So super important to use the 60. After that, the post effect, I recommend to go with off with this one. Uh, you can expect a nice 6% boost in your FPS with post effect at off. So super important to use that. The crowd also, not very important on in this game. So just put it at low, you will gain another 5% boost in your FPS. And the last one is the UI effect. If you're lagging in the menu, it doesn't feel smooth, your menu. Just go with UI effect at low and it will really help also uh, when you're moving and going in your settings and stuff like that. So this is pretty much it, guys. Um, with that, normally you can run easily at 60. For sure, if you have like a new gen phone, you can probably use uh, post effect at high, even crowd at high. The game is not like... Uh, it's well optimized, but it doesn't take a lot of resources. So if you have like, I don't know, the new Galaxy S23, you will not have any issue with it. But if you're struggling with your FPS, this is pretty much the best parameter that you can use. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your phone, like so, so the, 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 the model of your phone, but also where you live, your region, because sometimes they don't have the same CPU, GPU. So super important to, to tell me where you live. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.